What's going on everyone, Matesh here with Dumb Tech and today we are doing a little camera comparison between the iPhone XR and the Google Pixel 2. And right now I'm using the front facing camera to take video. Both cameras can do 1080p, although the iPhone can do up to 60 frames per second. So that's pretty nice. Uh, right now the audio you're hearing from, you guys will see a little icon to let you know which phone is recording the audio, so give you a better idea. Uh, the iPhone also has electronic image stabilization, that's why it's a little bit more cropped in than the Pixel 1 is. But uh, uh, both should be doing a, seem to be doing a pretty decent job in video. The iPhone is still clearly just a better video taker than the Pixel is, but um, yeah, at least you guys can let me know. Also, it's a really, really windy day, so you guys can really see what the microphone can do on windy days like today. Okay, so now we're shooting with the rear cameras, both shooting at 4K. The iPhone can do 4K 60 frames per second, which is what I'm shooting at, and yeah, the iPhone generally has better video than the Pixel camera does, but this should give you guys an idea of what you can expect out of either of these cameras. And I'm just walking at like a normal pace, just down, so we'll see if, how the good the stabilization is on each of these cameras. Alright, next up we're testing out the autofocus, so here we are focusing on this. really fast job of finding focusing on the Pixel phone. Alright, and here we are on the Pixel 2. I'm going to do the same autofocus test, so here we go. You can see it's nice and fast. Alright guys, so let's move on from videos to talking about photos and here we have the iPhone XR on the left and the Pixel 2 on the right and this is a good example of what the iPhone tends to do really well. So one of the things I've noticed when I was shooting with the iPhone is that it tends to really brighten up the image and really saturate those colors. So this is a great example where you can see the iPhone picture is just way brighter than the Pixel photo is. I think the iPhone 1 looks really good just as a shot. I think most people would probably prefer that image. And the Pixel 1 looks fine, but there's just kind of dull. I think it's just, it's very moody and it may not be for everyone. It's, it, there's a lot more contrast in the Pixel image, whereas in the iPhone image, everything is like lit by this amazing light that did not really exist there. So I think the iPhone does a great job. I think if you guys get this, this a picture like this, I think anybody would be happier with the iPhone 1. Next up, we have this picture of this leaf, and I think it's a bit of a toss-up between the two. Once again, the iPhone is making the picture way brighter and more saturated. I think a lot of people will be very happy with this picture, but me personally, I think I like the Pixel 1 a little bit more because of the contrast and colors. It just is a little bit more moody, and I kind of like that one better. But I think it's going to come down to personal preference for most people. I think a lot of people will like the iPhone 1 and a lot of people will like the Pixel 1 just fine. In this next image, we can see we have this road here. And once again, the iPhone is just a much brighter image. It's, you know, the colors look much more vibrant on it. Whereas on the Pixel, it's much more contrasty. And, you know, everything just looks a little bit more dull. You can probably get a little bit more color out of that if you edit it. But I think right out of the camera, I think most people will probably prefer the iPhone XR picture. All right, next up we have this indoor shot and once again iPhone is brighter it's warmer and I think a lot of people will probably like the iPhone one better though I think the pixel one definitely captured more of what the scene looked like and it's got the colors a lot more accurate than what the iPhone has the iPhone is definitely tends to run a little warm the pixel tends to run a little cool which you know it's a personal preference some people will like the warmer images some people will want the cooler ones it's really kind of a toss-up. I think it's this is just comes down to a matter of personal preference. I think they both have tons of details and they both look great. All right, and in this picture, you can see where the iPhone tendency to brighten everything up can be kind of a double-edged sword because I really wanted to capture what was outside the outside the windows in this with this tree being all the red leaves and all that. But instead, it made the entire room bright and it just makes for a worse image. Whereas the Pixel may not have gotten the brightest leaves and the colors may not be as saturated as they are on the iPhone, but it captured what I actually wanted to capture, which was outside the window. So the dynamic range where technically it's a little bit higher on the iPhone, I would say that I like the picture out of the Pixel phone much better on this one. So next up, we have these pictures taken at night, and it was before Halloween. Sorry, it took me so long to get this video out, but here we are. Uh, the left one is the iPhone, of course, and you can see in this one, there is a lot less noise than it was on the Pixel phone, but I think the Pixel phone did a better job with the colors. The pumpkin was actually like this more orange color versus this white, and same for these uh, ghosts in the background. They were much more this yellowish color that is on the Pixel side versus the white ones on the Pixel phone or the iPhone. So 
yeah, overall, I think the they both did a pretty decent job, honestly, capturing the scene. The iPhone does a better job at noise reduction, but the Pixel, I think, tends to capture a much more realistic scene. And this is another picture taken at the same place at the same time. You can see, once again, the iPhone tends to have just a much clearer image, so there's not that much noise. There's still a little bit of grain, but not as much as there is on the Pixel device when you zoom in. But the Pixel device definitely captured the scene much more accurately. The colors are way more accurate on the Pixel phone than they are on the iPhone. So one of the really interesting things about the iPhone XR is the fact that this is the first iPhone with a single lens that can also do portrait mode. So this is something that the Pixel 2 has been able to do for a while. So it'd be interesting. I thought it'd be interesting to see what the comparison between the two is. And this is a picture that was taken with the portrait mode. One of the things you'll definitely notice is the fact that on the iPhone XR picture, you get a lot more of the scene because unlike the Pixel 2, which zooms in when you're taking a portrait photograph, the iPhone just leaves it at the same focal length as before as the normal lens. So if you want to take a portrait photograph to make it look really good, you're actually going to want to step a lot closer to the person you're taking a portrait of. Uh, this was taken from the exact same location, but you can clearly see that the iPhone 1 just have a lot more stuff in the background. Now in terms of how the portrait mode did, uh, once again, the iPhone tends to brighten up the image uh, quite a bit. So this image on the left is just way brighter than the image on the right is. Uh, in terms of how accurate the colors and things are, I would say the Pixel phone is much more accurate in terms of color. It was not quite as warm as what the iPhone is showing here, but overall I still think they both did a fantastic job. The hair on my niece is not perfect in either of the pictures, but you know what, overall I still think they both did a really, really good job. And this is another portrait picture, and once again, you can see the difference in focal lengths. Taken from the exact same location, you're still getting a lot more in the iPhone shot than you are in the Pixel shot. Um, overall, I still like the Pixel portrait better. Uh, they tend to really bring out a lot of contrast and details, whereas the iPhone tends to brighten everything up and just maybe smooth out a little bit more. I don't know, it's a personal preference. And you can also see on the Pixel or the iPhone photo, the uh, Play-Doh bottle that my niece was holding has been blurred out, whereas on the Pixel one, it got it in focus, which is exactly how it should be. Also on the iPhone one, you can see the sleeve part here is also out of focus where it should be in focus as it is on the Pixel phone. So yeah, overall, I still think the Pixel phone does it better, but I think it's really cool that the iPhone can now do it with a single lens too. It does do a pretty good job, especially like if you look around here, on the knees section of my knees, you can see that it actually levels off gradually. So you're not just getting this sharp blur at her knees or anything like that. You're just actually leveling off, which it should be doing. So that's kind of cool. All right, so next up we have the front-facing camera. And here it's actually taken using portrait mode since both phones are capable of doing portrait mode using the front-facing camera. Uh, we have the iPhone XR, of course, on the left, and I will gotta be honest with you guys, I think the Pixel did a way better job than the iPhone did. The iPhone just made my skin look very splotchy. It's like just the smoothed over mess, which I don't know, some people may like, but I just personally think that there's a ton of noise here that I just don't like. Over here, while I don't look that nice, I still think the picture came out much better. It's way more detailed and sharp, and I just tend to like it better than I did the iPhone photo. So for me personally, I still think the Pixel has one of the best front facing cameras ever. Even though it doesn't have this depth sensing technology that the iPhone XR has, it still tends to do a better job to me in portrait mode. All right, and this is the last picture we have, and it's a front facing camera again uh, in some very challenging conditions. So you can see that there's a ton of light in the background and the phones are trying to do their best to keep the dynamic range. And I think the iPhone does a better job of lighting up my face, but you can see that there's a ton of noise reduction, especially around this area. You can just see it just like very, very, a ton of noise reduction there. Whereas on the Pixel phone, it's a little bit more noisy, but it looks a little bit more like my face which, you know, is all wrinkly and old. But still, I think the Pixel did a good job here, but I think most people were definitely going to prefer the iPhone one because it's brighter and, you know, you're just going to be able to see yourself better. So definitely in this one, I would say the iPhone did a better job, but I think the Pixel does a fine job too. And especially if you want more details, the Pixel is going to be the better one for you. 
All right, so there you guys have it. That is the camera comparison between the iPhone XR and the Pixel 2. And uh, yeah, I think the iPhone really holds its own this year against the Pixel. Last year, Pixel was kind of way better. This year, iPhone has really closed that gap. But for still photos, I still think the Pixel takes usually better pictures, most circumstances. But I think a lot of people will prefer the iPhone pictures because they're brighter and just a little bit more colorful. So it's really going to depend on the person. But so yeah, if you guys get this phone, you will not be disappointed at all, especially with the video recording, which this is being recorded on the iPhone 10R right now and yeah the video recording the iPhone is just so much better especially in terms of audio too so much better than the Pixel is so yeah overall that's pretty much it for this comparison thank you guys so much for watching I will catch you guys in the next one bye